could be an overnighter, it can be a couple nights maybe, maybe even in a day. And uh, you get back to your vehicle and uh, you take your boots off, you're going through your backpack, you're changing out of your hiking clothes and you can't find your car keys. And you realize that somewhere up in those mountains is a set of car keys. You're in the middle of nowhere. You can send a spot, but uh, you know, it might be hours before friends or family get here. Or what happens if you're in an emergency situation? Middle of the night, somebody gets sick, you decide to hike out where they're injured. You hike out, middle of the night, you can't find your car keys. They're at the bottom of your pack. You lost them on the trail. And man, you're stuck, right? So here's the quick tip. You always hide a second set of keys. Here's my second set of keys. It's a magnetic box. You can buy these for about two, three bucks. Put it right there. I got, you can hear it rattling around. I got a second set of keys. So the main keys, I still keep in my backpack. But I always keep a second key, a second Jeep key. Right there. See it? So that way, if I'm hiking out of here and I lose my keys, I can still get home. And you don't have to keep it on the vehicle. And by the way, if you recognize my Jeep, just pretend I didn't show you any of this. <laughs> so you don't have to keep it on the Jeep. You could, uh, you know, if you're at a remote trailhead like me, you can, you can maybe hide it uh, back here. Or you could hide it, uh, you know, maybe, you know, on the bottom right here. I don't know. Hell, you could hide it somewhere in the bushes. So that's your quick tip. If you're in the wilderness, always have a second set of keys. And if you don't trust uh, people around you, then uh, give a second set of keys to a, uh, a fellow hiker. So that way you will always have a second set of keys. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Bye.